What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're gonna build out our blog category pages with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna start to build out our category pages for our blog. But before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps the channel, and check out Codeby.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video we left off, we had built the category system, right? So we can uh, add a category, and when we make a post, we can designate that post to be in a specific category. Now, some people have asked, what about multiple categories? I'm not gonna talk about that right now. We're just doing one category to begin with. It's relatively trivial to add more later if you want, uh, but for now, we're just gonna stick with one category. So you create a, a post with a category of say coding, and then here it says, you know, coding right next to it. And that's really all we've got so far. So if we click on one of these, still there's nothing here that sort of references the category. And what we really want is to be able to click on one of these say coding and go to a page that lists all the posts about coding, right? That's sort of the point of having a category system so you can look up specific posts for specific categories. So that's what we're gonna work on in this video. And so there are probably dozens of ways to do this and there may be a right way, I don't know. I just started thinking about it and I thought we'd mix it up a little bit in this video and do something a little bit different. Up until now, if we head over to our code and look at our views.py file, we have been using these class-based views because they take care of everything for us, and that's great. And there's probably a way to do this with class-based view, class -based views, but I'm getting a little bored with it, and so I thought we'd mix it up a little bit and go back to the old functional views for this specific thing, just to show you that you can use both of these at the same time. You can use class-based views and function-based views uh, in both at the same time, and that's cool. And, and for something like this, a function view is just, in my mind, uh, an easier way to do it. I know you can do it with a class-based view, but there's more coding involved, and who needs that? We'll just go back to the old way and do it like that. So let's start out with our URL. Remember, anytime we're creating a page for Django, it's always a three-step process. You need a URL, you need a view, and you need a template file. So let's start out with our URLs. That was the wrong URL. The .py file, we want the one in, let's see, the blog urls.py right here. So our main urls.py file. And let's just come down here, and it doesn't really matter where, let's add a new one here, and let's go path, and let's put this in category slash whatever the category is, right? So we're gonna use one of these guys, just like earlier. And remember when we did this one here, we're calling the uh, primary key of the post. So if it's post eight, eight would show up there, and eight is an integer, so we use int. Well here, we want the category, and that's a word, that's a string, not an integer. So we want str, and what do we want? Well, we can call this anything we want. So we're gonna reference whatever we call it here in our view. So I'm just gonna call it cats, short for categories, right? And uh, that'll work. And uh, let's put this in the category view in our views.py file, and let's give this a name of what? Let's say category. Okay, so our view is gonna be called category view, just keeping with the same convention that we've done so far. You know, update post view, delete post view, add post view, you know, whatever view. So here we're gonna do category, so I called it category view. And of course up here we have to import that guy, so let's do that, category view. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this, and that looks good. Now let's head over to our views.py file in our the blog directory, there it is. And anywhere, really, we can just create this view. Now, notice these are all class views up until now. Now, this is going to be, we're going to go back to the old way of doing it and just do a function. So, let's define category view. And like in the past, we always want to pass in our request. But we also want to pass in that cats. And that's just from our urls.py file, whatever we called this. If we called this Bob, we would type in Bob right there, right? So, this allows... When we're doing a, a function, a functional view, I guess you would call it, when we pass in the request, that's that 
the URL gets passed and part of the URL is going to be this cats so we can just pass that right in and start using it, which is really useful and which makes this easier to deal with than with the class based views where you're not passing in the request right so it's harder to get to the request you can still get it. But it's like I don't know five or six lines of code and just doing this seems easier to me than writing five or six lines of code for our class based view. So that's what we're going to do. So all right now what do we want to do Well, we want to return. And we want to render we always do this we want to render that request and then we want to what what template file do we want let's just call this categories.html we'll make this one in just a second and then we also always want to pass in our context dictionary so let's save this now let's go ahead and just make this file real quick so we've got it so let's go to our templates directory right click new file make sure it's the blogs templates directory and let's file save as and let's call this categories.html. And I'm just gonna grab something. Let's grab our home.html. And let's just copy all of this. And let's just paste that into our categories.html. And we don't want this probably, well, maybe we do. So let's call this categories. And this code will need to be changed. Let's get rid of this UL. And uh, yeah, we'll have to change this, but we'll do that in a minute. So let's head back over to our views. And now let's talk about this. What we're doing here is we're passing this cats, right? So in our URL, it's going to be, you know, slash categories slash coding, that coding, or sports or entertainment or whatever category will get passed into this variable. Now we can do stuff with that variable here. For instance, we could just pass this straight to the page. So let's go cats. Let's put it in quotation mark. And then let's just pass that cats variable. So let's save this. And now let's head over to our categories.html. And for now, let's just get rid of all of this. We'll redo it in a minute. But now we can just pass in that cats. All right, so let's just save this. And remember our URL, it's going to be slash, uh, it's going to be category slash whatever the, the category is. So if we come back here and go to, for instance, category slash coding, boom, we see coding appears right here. If we go to sports, boom, sports appears. If we go to uh, ice hockey, I misspelled hockey, but now ice hockey appears. Now this is not an actual category. So we're gonna have to put some error handling in here to make sure only categories do stuff here, right? So uh, we can do that. but. You can see whatever we type in here is now getting passed here, which means we can do stuff with it. So what do we want to do with it? Let's head back over to our views.py file and let's think about this. So what we've got here is a situation where we need to query the database. And in our class-based views, it did all that stuff for us. But now we have to actually write a query ourselves. Luckily with Django, it is incredibly easy to write a query for your database. So what we want to do is Let's call this um, category underscore posts. We want just the post from the specific category of cats. So we can create this query and we can say we want to call post.objects. Right? This will query our database, our post model, where all of our posts are sitting. You know, we could also query the category model, but we don't need to. We've already got our category right here. So now to specify a specific thing that we want to pull out of our post model, we can use a filter. So we can just go dot filter. And then what do we want to filter for? Well, we want category equals cats, which is just the name of this thing, right? So why category here? Well, remember our model. When we set this up, we name this category. This is our the field that will record all of our categories in our post model. So we want to query that that table or that column in the table and pull back only the categories that equal whatever this is, right? So now we've got this, this is an object, we can pass this into our page, right? So let's also let's put it both in. And let's go category posts. And then we want to just pass that variable category posts which is an object, right? So if we save this, now we can reference category posts on our page. So if we head back, and I'm just going to paste that in here, let's grab this and bring it up here, just to sort of 
make this interesting. So it'll say coding categories or coding category, maybe. That's cool. All right, whatever you want. Or you could just put, you know, maybe coding at the top, big bold H1. So now we've got this category post and it's an object. And remember our home.html file, we're basically doing the same thing here. We've got this, only this will be slightly different because we're not using this in object list thing. But basically this code is gonna be the same. So we can come back here and we can go for, let's call it post in, oops, in category underscore posts which is this thing that we're passing to the page. Uh, and then we always wanna end for right away. So end for. Now what do we wanna do inside of here? Well, we can, we can do all of the things just like we did on our homepage. So if we look at our homepage, remember we've got post title, post category, post author. In fact, we can just copy all this if we really want to. And maybe we want this stuff too. So let's copy it all. <laughs> And we'll need a UL tag. I guess I shouldn't have deleted that, but uh, let's put that back here, UL. There we go. And then inside of here, we can just paste all that stuff. All right, so let's save this and head back over and hit reload and boom. The, you'll notice this is coding, 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 coding. And our category up here is coding. So boom, that says coding too. Maybe we wanna capitalize that, we can do that if we wanted to. So if we come back here and let's look at hiking. So let's go category hiking. There's just one post, right? And it also says hiking, so maybe we wanna take this out, we don't need it to say hiking there. Uh, we could do that real quick. Uh, that's just gonna be where post title, post category, here it is right there, boom. Just take that out, save it. That disappears. Now, what if we put something else like um, like walking? Boom, it just says walking and there's nothing to show, right? So maybe that's not a great way to do it. Uh, probably instead we could say something like, we could create an if statement. We could say if, and then we could say category posts then do all this stuff. And then we can add an else statement, else. And let's also end our if. We could print something like, uh, sorry, this page does not exist. Right, something like that. So now if we come back and hit reload, boom, sorry, this page doesn't exist. So, you know, if we uh, looked up the trees category, sorry, this page doesn't exist. If we look at coding, boom, this page does exist. And let's change this to uppercase. This is, or maybe we want title case. So let's see, let's go to our views.py file. And when we pass this in, we want to pass in cats.title. Can we do that? Boom, that's better, right? Okay, so pretty simple. Now, what else do we have to do here? Well, back here on our homepage, these things should be clickable, these categories. Right now they're not. So like, how do we even know that we can get to that category page unless we have a link? So let's fix that real quick. Uh, let's head back over to our home.html file and find that link or that, that thing. Uh, there it is right there, post category. And let's just make this into a link. So href equals and then close our a tag. Now let's go back to our urls.py file. And what did we name this thing? We named it category, right? So head back to home.html and let's create a Django link tag. And this is gonna be a URL and it's gonna be pointing towards category. But then also we need to post like right here we passed post.pk, primary key, to look up a specific blog post. We need to do that same thing here, but it's not gonna be post.pk, it's gonna be post dot whatever this thing was called, and we called it category right here, post.category. So we just pop that in, and that should do the trick. So head back here and hit reload, boom, now, click on hiking, it goes to hiking, 
If we click on coding, it goes to coding and you can see category coding and everything works. Pretty cool. And now if we click on this, obviously it goes to the article page and that's cool. So those are categories in a nutshell. We went through that pretty quickly in two videos, but now of course we can get a lot more complicated with this. And there's some, if there's something more you want to see with categories, let me know if enough people really want me to do multiple categories, I'll, I'll talk about it, but you know, it's kind of silly. I don't, I wouldn't want to blog with multiple categories just because that seems silly, but I know some people would. So if enough people want to see that, we'll talk about it, but uh, it's sort of trivial. Maybe you can figure it out on your own, uh, maybe hack around with it and see. Uh, it's always fun. So, okay, uh, we are moving right along. And I think that's pretty much it for categories. So that's all for this video. If you like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps out the channel. And I really appreciate and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDF versions of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and we'll see you in the next video.